Welcome to Pilgrim Connect and thanks for joining me today as we explore a very familiar scripture, John 3.16. And it goes like this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believeth in him will not die, but live forever and ever and ever. Amen. And let's do a little cheer that goes with that. I'll do it once and then you can follow along with me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believeth in him will not die, but live forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. Okay, let's do it together now. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believeth in him will not die, but live forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. All right. Nice job. Thanks for doing that with me. Now, it got me thinking about how do we measure God's love? Well, I brought along with my, me today a measuring cup, a tape measure, and a clock. So let's see if we can measure God's love with any of those. Now imagine I'm baking something, maybe some chocolate cookies. Mmm, yum. Now which of these items would I use to measure flour and sugar? Look them over. That's right, the measuring cup. Now can we measure God's love like we do flour and sugar with the measuring cup? Hmm. Well, in Psalm 23, 1 and 5, it says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. My cup runneth over. So if God's love runs over the cup, so much that it runs over, we can't really measure with this, can we? So let's imagine now that I'm building something and I need to measure the width, the length, and the height of something. Which of these three items would I use for that? Look them over. The measuring cup, the tape measure, or the clock? I'm sure you guessed the tape measure. Could we measure God's love with the tape measure? Hmm, let's check the Bible and see. It says in Psalm 108, verse 4, God's love is higher than the heavens. Higher than the heavens. I don't think my tape measure goes that high. So that's not going to work either, is it? Now, for our last measurement, what if I wanted to know how long something lasts? Which of these would I use? The measuring cup, the tape measure, or the clock? Well, by process of elimination, we're going to use the clock. Can we measure God's love with a clock? Psalm 103.17 says, God's love is from everlasting to everlasting. That means no beginning and no end. So if there's no beginning and end, a clock wouldn't work either, would it? So if none of these work to measure God's love, let's go back to that verse we did at the beginning, John 3, 16, where it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believeth in him will not die, but live forever and ever and ever. So God's love, we don't really have to measure it, do we? Because it is never ending. God's love just goes on and on. So we don't need to measure God's love. We need to experience it and share it. That's what we need to do with God's love. So I invite you to do that this week. Take the love that you know God gives to you and share it with another. It reminds me of a song that we learned in Vacation Bible School, and maybe you have learned too, called Deep and Wide, and it talks about God's love. So let's do a little bit of that. And I have attached it to your lesson today so you can sing along with it later, over and over. So let's hear it. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep 
Keep in mind, keep in mind, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. So that's how deep and wide God's love is. It goes on forever and ever and ever. Amen. So for our craft today, in the description of, of the YouTube video, you'll find this printout for to make a puzzle for our scripture, John 3.16. So you'll take some time and color it like I have, however that looks for you, and mount it on something a little sturdier so that it's good for the pieces. And just to give you an idea, you see how the lines are here? You will go around and you'll cut according to the lines on here, and that will make your individual puzzle pieces. And then once you have cut it all out, of course, you'll just put it together just like a regular puzzle. I think that would be great. And I wish you'd send me a picture of your puzzle completed. It would be a fun activity. Also attached to the lesson today are two other activity sheets, the video of the Deep and Wide song and a VeggieTales song video all about how much God loves you and how much God has to share with you. So I hope you'll take advantage of watching those. So thanks for joining me today as we learned about how God's love does not need to be measured because it just goes on forever and ever. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for your love, a love so great that you gave your one and only son that we could have life everlasting. Amen.